we talk about dignity in the Bible, I go into the Titus 2, verse 7. It says, show yourself in no respect to be a model of good works. And in your teaching, show integrity and dignity. You know, we as a children of God, you know, I don't want to relate it to women alone because it's talking to everybody generally. It's not about uh, women. Although we are we are a women conference, but our daddies have to take one or two things to home tonight. So when we are talking about dignity, it shows respect. You know, everybody deserves you want people to respect you. And the way you want people to respect you, you have to respect others like that. You know, in everything you are doing, is you have to, you know, show, you know, dignity in whatever you are doing. You understand what I'm saying? You know, don't you don't need to buy respect for yourself. Your character it will show maybe people will respect you. You know. What do we need by, what do we mean by dignity? Because of my time, I need to rush it. Dignity can be defined as the state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect. Dignity signifies that a person is worthy to receive respect from others, like your colleagues in your working place, like your husband, you know, you can receive dignity from your family. It depends on your character. It depends on your behavior. You know, that's why I said you can't buy it. You can't buy it. You have to earn it. So as a woman and as our husbands, our men, we have to, you know, let our, our life, you know, shows dignity and i pray the lord will help us in jesus name human dignity originates from god and is of god because we are made of god image the book of and god likeness the book of genesis 1 26 talks about and god said let us make man in our own image and our likeness God does not make you as a goat. That is one honor. God gave men honor. That is why he made us from his own image. He does, he does not make us as a bed. You know, when God created everything, he made man to have dominion over them. That is dignity. That is honor. That is the respect God shows us. And God wants us also to show people around us that respect. Dignity as bestowed by God and by Jesus should be bestowed upon others, irrespective of their value. You know, we don't need to look anybody down. We have to respect everybody. Don't say, oh, you are not my caliber. You are not my mate. We are not in the same class. We don't have class before God. If God wants to make classes, maybe he wants to separate people category by category, there are some people, they will not receive honor from God. You know, that is why God does not make you as a bird. He does not make you as a snake. He made you from his own image. So that respect that God gave to you, you have to, you know, give it to other people surround you. Don't look down on anybody. Don't disrespect anybody. Don't see people as nobody. You know, we have to respect them. We have to value people as God valued us. And as we, you know, expecting people to value us. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. When we talk of dignity, we are not only referring to men and women alone. 
we are referring to men. Although we are celebrating women's conference today, but dignity refers to everyone, both men and women. It is expect of us to be dignified in all, in everything. You have to be dignified, to be straightforward. Uh, we want life in the among the children of God. We must not see it. We have to be straightforward and we have to be honorable before God and men. No, don't, don't, don't fear men more than God. So people say, Allah will kukuri me. He doesn't know what I'm doing in my hidden place. He's, he, uh, oh, men, men did not see me. But if men did not see you, God is seeing you whatever you do. Don't fear men. You have to fear God. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. What does the Bible say about dignity? If we look at Luke 2, uh, Luke 12, 1, it discusses about the dignity of woman in the Bible. However, let us go back to the beginning. You know, we say God make us, he made us in his own image. He has given us glory and honor by making us in his own image. It's not by mistake. If God, God wants to make us as an animal, nobody can query him. But it's because he has value for us. That is why he made us in his own image. So because we are human beings, we have to, you know, be dignified. Genesis 1, 26. Genesis 1, 26 to 27. That is where we can find that. For God to make us on his own image means we have that honor. And the same honor, we must transfer it to people around us. They must see you, see you, see me as a good example wherever we, we, we find ourselves as a woman in our uh, husband uh, family house. That dignity must be there. The honor must be there. The respect must be there. Don't fight for respect. Don't fight for honor. Your, your, the way you carry people around you will make them to respect you. So, whatever honor we are giving, we are receiving it back to ourselves. So, now let us go to the woman. God said, God requires dignity from we women. We have to respect our husband. He said, woman, submit yourself to your own husband. We have to submit ourselves to our own husband. You know, don't see yourself as head of the family. Respect your husband. And likewise, men, we have to love and care for our wife. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So what are the qualities of a dignified person? It applies to both men and women. Transparency and truthfulness. Transparency in the house between husband and wife. Between parents and children. Because of my time, I need to rush it. Obedience to the word of God. Philippians 2, 12 says, Therefore, my dear friend, as I've always obeyed, obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much in my absence. Continue to work your salvation with fear and trembling. We must not walk in the wrong path. We have to follow the, uh, the, the, the path of the Lord, and the Lord will help us. A dignified person must be prayerful and spirit filled. The Bible said, says, this body cannot do without the Spirit of God. You want to be fruitful? You want to be obedient to the Word of God? The flesh will prevent this thing from happening, but we have to, you know, fight it out. You understand? We have to fight it out. So when you are filled with the Spirit of God, it will be easy for you to obey all the God's commandments. God, good communication attitude. We must be reliable and clear. Transparency. We have to be reliable. People must say, ah, no, 
If Miss Sister Lagbaja say this thing is white, if you go there, it will be white. It can it, it, you can't find it black. That is what we call the life. That means people will honor you, they will respect you. Kindness, Ephesians 4 32. Say, be kind to one another. Let us kind to people around us. One woman. Matthew 7 12 said, Whatsoever you want people to do, also do to them. Whatever you want people to do to you, you have to do it to them. If you do bad, be expecting bad. But if you do good, you will receive good. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. In conclusion, my brethren, in all things, God requires us to be dignified. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that next year, Women Conference, we will more than this in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord will spare our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us sing this song. I have no power of my own.